All right, let's get straight to it. 2015 Toyota Corolla. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this cover right here so you can access the part. So you can take, you can start from the left or the right and just pop up straight up like that. And then we can get this cover off. Let's set that to the side. So once you get this cover off, you can see exactly where your alternator is. It is right at the front. And that is also the way you loosen your belt as well. Pretty much this is gonna um, service two things. This is gonna hold the alternator belt. They're gonna hold the belt tight, which is also going to keep your alternator on. To remove the belt, you have this bolt right here. That's a 13 millimeter. Um, basically, you have to break that bolt loose. Don't remove it all the way. Just break it loose so that this thing can slide back and forth. And once that's broken loose, you can turn this bolt here. If you turn this bolt clockwise, then it will bring this alternator more inside. And counterclockwise will bring the alternator more back. Bringing it inside loosens the belt. Bringing it back is what's going to tighten the belt. So right now we just want to loosen the belt, but before you do all of that, we're going to want to mark it. So I'm going to mark it in a couple of places, right? So I'm going to mark the bolt so I can know where to stop once I'm tuned in. I can know exactly where to stop. And I'm going to mark up here so I can know. So this is going to be the first thing I'm going to utilize is this mark here. Once I'm tightening everything up, I'm gonna utilize this mark to make sure that everything gets lined back up to here. Because once we loosen this up, this part is gonna move all the way down here. So that we know that we need to bring this part basically all the way back up to this line. And then once this up to that line, we'll check on this because even though this is at this line this might be off just a tad to the left or right and so we know we need to get that right back to that mark and that should be where our belt needs to be so once you are able to get this clockwise and have this all the way up front and you get that belt off then you put the the new belt on and once everything is ready to go and just make sure you run the belt the same exact way as you got the old belt off. You may have to um, go underneath and just to help put everything together as far as putting the belts on all the pulleys. I wouldn't have to. My arms are long enough and I can see. But if you can't do it that way, you might have to go from underneath. And But everything you should need to do is on top right here. Very easy for this belt. And of course, everything else going back is going to be the same thing backwards. And once you get your belt on, of course, tighten everything back on. But that's pretty much it.